sorry, the, qu the question relates to Lola. Uh, at the time it came out, I remember there was some controversy about the changing of the word cherry cola from Coca-Cola. So why was that? And the second question is, what is Lola about? Well, the problem I had, and it's um, very odd, BBC in England banned it initially because of the word cherry cola. It was about transvestite. So, was it? Yeah. Well, well, well. <laughs> and it was banned? It was banned because it was about Coca-Cola advertising. Yeah. They were fussy uh, about things like that, right? But they you? forgot. Yeah. Um, what is this? You were you were eighteen, and young fellow was fifteen when when about when, 13, when, when you started. He's still yeah. a mental age with it. Yeah, oh, thank you. Yeah, all of, all of that. What thank is this so about much. you two not getting on together? <laughs> that's what legal, is isn't it? That's, that's okay to do that in this case. It's yeah. legal. It's one of the last things in the world that's legal. Is that yes. you can't get on with one another. So, I think it's healthy. Oh, I'm glad you think so. Yeah. I disagree. I, I remember Chapman, Graham Chapman of Monty Python, was a, was a friend of mine. Yeah. You often had rows when you were sort of working. Yeah. It, it goes on. I think um, yeah, arguing, away, some sort of... Yeah, you know, I suppose you sort of... You beat each other up so much, in the end there's nothing else to do but to make a truth. The odd, thing, the odd thing was that Dave and I were having a scrap, this is really early on, a fight, if you like, in the back of a van. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's really one of these things, yeah. Well, your brother. What is over a girl or something silly like that? Sorry, guys. It was his first one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was my first one. Agreed. And this man, <laughs> yeah. this guy came up to me and he said, get off of him. And I said, he's my brother. <laughs> <And I'm, laughs> so we could carry on fighting. It's just one of those yeah. things. Yeah. I think it's a... Um, he's not a heavyweight, he's my brother. He's a, <laughs> no, it is, it, it's something that's like from the cradle, I suppose. Yeah. But it's also a healthy thing. And many, fact, there's a family band on earlier, the first band yeah. you had on, lovely band. It's very healthy, look at it. Yeah, but, and uh, it's a family group. And in this country, <laughs> music is passed on through the family. Yeah. And families, you never go into a business with a family. That's what they always say. Yes, but 30 years on keeping a band together, it is difficult. I think we're, it's because we're amateurs at heart. No, you're not. It's no, he, an amateur, I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it's important if you want to keep the durability, keep it going, keep it fresh. What, what do you mean by amateur, though? They do it, it's Don't like, you know the cricket match they used to have at Lords? They <laughs> had, had a game at Lords cricket ground mm. in England. It was called the gentlemen versus the players. Mm. And uh, <laughs> the gentlemen <laughs> were the amateurs and the players were the mm. horrible professionals. And there's that aspect of our music that is doing it for fun. Also mm. not to take things too seriously, I think, as well. I mean, you know, you can spend hours and hours in a recording studio trying to get something perfect, whatever perfect mm. is supposed to mean. But I didn't answer the gentleman's and, um, other part. I was question. so rudely interrupted by my brother. <laughs> I won't bother to finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I must also what, say, Reggie, Jay, that the Reggie, last person yeah. sitting here, there was a wet patch on yes, the floor. Yes, I know. It was, <laughs> everybody has spilled, everybody has spilled <laughs> our water. It was, it was penny, well, definitely. I'd like to answer the gentleman's yes, yes, other say, yes, part. But he said, Nola. what's Lola about? Nola. And it, Lola is about, um, it's an experience we had in a, a bar in Paris. Uh, in the late 60s, and I was dancing with this beautiful blonde woman. And um, it came around to six in the morning, the music was playing, and champagne was flowing, your place or mine. And it goes to the morning, and it's a stubble on the cheek. It's always a giveaway. And um, it started off from that, but it genuinely ended up as a love song. So the stubble on her cheek? His cheek. His cheek, yes. Well, over here, you know, it's the same. I, I thought, I thought right, it was you sure. that was dressed up. <laughs> that, and we discovered right, your stubble. Yeah. But when that song came out... A lot of transvestites came to gigs, yeah. A lot of transvestites came to gigs, but it was a great statement. I mean, in America, you know, I was like, I don't know, it came out 1969, 70. So you were... I was like 19 years old, but when it came out, mm. for, for the gay population, it was like, wow, look, here's social commentary in rock and roll that includes everybody. Well, I'm a very serious social commentator. You are. Yes, in, indeed you are.